Well done, Gavin. Uh, congratulations. Uh, do you realise uh, when you're out there on the track how fast you're going? <laughs> uh, you got a rough idea. I knew I was getting it uh, fairly cosy early and... Uh, yeah, once we uh, sort of went into the back, I thought it was going to take a special effort from some some something to run him down because, like I say, I'd led sort of fairly comfortable off the arm and then really no mid-race pressure. So when a horse of this ilk uh, gets it cheap like that, uh, it's going to be hard to catch. We talk about track records. I know uh, all records are there to be broken. Uh, this horse here, he was 0.9 out. It would be fair to say he could have gone quicker. Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, you know, I think uh, we're probably getting to an era now uh, with the way the breed is getting that um, we've probably got, we're getting a little bit like the thoroughbreds now. We're probably breeding some horses that are probably specialists over short trips. And, and I would think that this guy, uh, if he was trained specifically for uh, short races, uh, he could run something pretty awesome, I think. Yeah, his uh, high speed has always been uh, his biggest asset and this uh, season in particular we've seen him being tested at uh, some, some pretty high levels uh, over the last 12 months which is certainly enabling him to get stronger in his uh, ability to deal with the pressure and hopefully uh, with the uh, months ahead there's plenty more to come. Yeah, true. Uh, he's, uh, you know, I'm sure that this year he's just, he's matured, come of age and uh yeah, uh, in the Dominion in, um, later in the year, so uh, on the agenda now. So uh, fingers crossed uh, he stays a sound horse and that, and, uh, you know, he'll be uh, flying the fag for Victoria very proudly, I'd reckon. Good on you, Gavin. Uh